you have any questions for me? I do actually. Shoot away. Okay. Um, I would like for you to share what is your top, um, like what is your top priority in your, like what did you, what would you say is like your number one priority? Every day? Everyday life, everyday day to day. What is your number one priority? Now it is taking care of me. Mm -hmm. If I can't take care of me, I can't take care of my babies. Yeah. And I have to make sure physical, mental, mm -hmm. just my peace. I'm at a very peaceful state yeah. in my life. And I'm not going to let anybody disrupt it. Even my babies, mm -hmm. they know when I come home, mommy need a woosa. When yeah. I take vacations, mommy need that time. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had to learn that, Mimi. It, it took yeah. a while. Because it yeah. used to be my kids, my kids, and I'm driving myself crazy. I'm like, wait a minute. But what about me? Who's yeah. going to take care of me? So I had to learn. And, and that goes with loving yourself, the self-love, whether it's getting, you know, your feet and nails done, your hair. It's just taking care of you. And I'm yeah. big on that. Yeah, I'm, and I'm that's so very big important. Very important. Yes. And a lot of people sleep on that. I mean, All as women, time. as yep. women, I think that it's so easy for us to put ourselves on the back burner because we're so busy with making sure everyone else like you said the kids and if you have a, a spouse or something other right. you're always the bottom of the totem pole so I have yeah, I learned you that can easily so lose good. yourself in that oh yeah and oh, then yeah. once you lose yourself it's like okay well what do I do now well yeah. where do I go like even my kids even when I used to be married people said when I was contemplating they were like oh but what about the kids well, wait a minute they're gonna grow up and they're gonna leave me and they're gonna go on and they're gonna be like well mom uh, -uh they're gonna live their lives yeah. which I want them to so yeah. as a parent I have to allow them when they get that certain age to live their lives and right now like I tell my oldest mama need love too don't, mm -hmm. don't don't be trying to block all the time now you know <laughs> as my mama would say I ain't dead yet okay <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I, I'm I'm number one. I would say yeah. when I rise in the morning, and they're right there with mommy. You know, I eat, they eat. You know, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. The next question that I would have um, for you, cousin, is: Can you tell me what is what? What are you most um, passionate about? Ooh. I'm most passionate about being the best me I can be every single day. Awesome. I try to be a better me. I try to think about certain circumstances or situations I've been in where I could have altered or said something or not said something. Mm -hmm or not allow myself to get so angry sometimes when somebody cut me off on the road or cut in front of me in line. You know, those little things can really set you off and take you out of your peace. Yeah. I'm learning every day. No, I'm not gonna allow you to do that. You know, and people always say to me, you're always smiling. You look like you don't have a worry in the world. No, baby, I do. Mm -hmm. Or when people say, I don't mean to be rude, but how do you? And it's like 50 and they're like, what? What do you do? I go to bed at night and I stay. <laughs> right. You're not because, worried. Right. I'm not up like, oh my goodness. Well, where he at? Or why she said that? Or I can't sleep because the TV blaring. No, 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 no. Mama lay down and rest well. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. Some people don't understand it, but mm -hmm. that's what I mean when I say I go to bed at night, baby. Yeah. And you know, this melanin, you know how it is, honey. Yes. Thank God you for it. Come from good genes and take care of yourself. And don't let foolish stuff get the best of you. Mm -hmm. because, you know, my mother, my father, my grandparents, you know, diabetic, um, high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And I, I rebuke those things a long yeah, time ago. Jesus. 
Mm -hmm. Come on now. When I'm at the doctor's office and they'd be like, oh, well, it looked like you have a history, mm -hmm, but look where I'm at. Right. And the doctor tell me every year when I have my physical, Mimi, he says, whatever you're doing, you keep doing it. Mm -hmm. So I just challenge myself each time before I go to just being a better me. Even my kids, they, mm, and I just woosa, close my door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me a few. Just mm -hmm. give me a few. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes I fly off the handle, baby. Don't, don't get it to it. Because you're the only human cousin. Come on. <laughs> now, but, you know, I say what I need to say, get it out. But I've learned. Mm -hmm. Think before I let it spew. Because once you, that tongue let it go, you can't yeah, bring it back. You can't take it back, yeah. And I tell people all the time, think before you speak. It's all in the presentation. Oh. Think people like you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. People I can bring you some raggedy in a bag. Here, here, cousin. You'd be like, girl, what is this? But if it's beautifully wrapped, you're like, oh my goodness. Oh, you know. Yes. And it's just that's everything. That is everything. Presentation, yes. delivery is everything. Yes. Yeah. And look in my eyes, you know, speak to me with love. Mm -hmm. If it's something I've done, just just let me know, but not in a girl, you da 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 da. Because yes. I had to go with a few girlfriends you know how that be, can be yes. when I want to talk to them and it's something very you know it's just the way you do it and mm -hmm. I come with the love and you know I love you you know mm -hmm. I never see you wrong but you did a b c wrong or you know I felt as though you know and I try to teach my kids that some of them don't hear it but the older ones they getting it now they get mm -hmm. it. yeah of course of course as you of know course. life is a great teacher honey a great one and you can either, you can have, either you can um, listen to me telling you, you know, warning you, like, this is something you need to stay away from, or mm -hmm. you get a, a taught lesson through life <laughs> and you walk through it. So that's very true. And even when you walk through it, you're going to hear me at the end. Oh, of course. <laughs> you're going, I promise you're going to hear it. I tell my kids, you may not hear me now, but I promise you, you're going to hear me verbatim every word I said. And then they be thinking like, Hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're getting it and, and they will, you know, like I tell them all the time, I'm not going to always be here. And mm -hmm. all I want is the best for my babies. Of course. I just want them to be close and take the jewels I've given you and go with them and just live your life. Mm -hmm. And they get one of my babies. He gets so sad when I talk like that, but I'm just being honest, Mimi, mm -hmm. because as a single mom, it's my job and my responsibility mm -hmm. to prepare my babies mm -hmm. yeah. from my oldest to my youngest, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's just how I look at it. Like, you know, I look around like, you know, one day I'm not going to be here. So I have a job to do until that day comes and I'm going to do it. Yeah. So I have another question for you, cousin. Yeah. Um, how many grandbabies do you have? And hold have, on, hold on. Oh, I get excited about my grandbabies. <laughs> um, how many grandbabies do you have? And which do you prefer? Which one do you think is easier? Not prefer, but which one do you think is easier? Do you think it's easier um, to be grandmother, like grandma versus being just mom? I would say, of course, it's easier to be Mima, because I'm Mima. I'm okay, not Mima. Grandma. Okay. Um, because they go home. Exactly. I need <laughs> you can pull up, spoil them, take them for the day, keep them for the weekend. All right. <laughs> bye. Love you. So, yeah. of course, that's easier. However, yeah. they, I have three. I have okay. one that's seven, one four, and one will be little mama be seven months. Okay. Yeah, seven months. She's oh. the first granddaughter. Oh boy, rotten. <laughs> yeah. Every time I'm somewhere, I'm like, oh, what do Lala need? Okay, mm -hmm. I gotta get her always. And it's mm -hmm. nothing against my grandsons because right. I spoiled them as well, but mm -hmm. she's the first girl. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's just different. But far as my children versus my grand, it's a different kind of love. It's a it's a different kind of gift yeah, yeah these are my children but these are my legacy 
Yeah. These are the ones that are going to speak stories about me to tell their children. And then they'll teach, you know, so that's my legacy. So that that's just so much. I mean, my children are going to talk about me, but the grands. Yeah. So when I call my baby and I hear in the background, hi, Mima. Yeah. That's better than any Christmas gift you can give me. Even though I'm, I'm very firm, but they are my world. I don't have to talk to them every day. They know me when I'm around. They're like, oh, that's for Mima. Or if I call, like, my grandson will FaceTime me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And he's seven. And it's just like, wow. Or he'll be like, can I come over? And I can't say no. I cannot. No matter how bad he be sometimes. How can I say no, you can't come over my house? Like, no. Yeah. But if I had $20 in my pocket, honey, they can have it. Right, of course. And she know it. She'd be like, mommy. And, but like I told her, you can't tell me that what I can't do for my grand. You know, I told my baby when she was pregnant with my oldest grandson, if you ever keep him from me, I will take you to court. Oh, yeah. That would be one of those. We got rights too. Mm-hmm. And she was like, mommy, I wouldn't. I said, I will beat your tail, you and your husband. Don't you mm-hmm. ever keep my legacy from me. And she has never even attempted to. Yeah. And I'm so thankful, like, you know, because she know they're my world. Because she'll be like, mommy, your boo-boo doing this or your stinker. Because I, I, all my grandbabies have nicknames. Mm-hmm. Only my grands, not my kids. Mm-hmm. And my grandson, if you were to say boo-boo, he'd look at you like, mm-mm. Only my mima call me boo-boo. Yeah. <laughs> so I treasure that. And mm-hmm. when they stand up or this, because the boys are so protective. Oh, my oh, baby yeah. grandson, like if a man comes near me, he looking like, he don't care, honey. He he is so protective. Mima, you know him. They don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and if he's but doing that now, imagine how that's going to be when he gets older. Oh, I can't wait to look at them big old tall men. So I'm going to listen. I got to go by my Mima house. You, you yes. hold tight. Let me go check on my Mima. Yes. You know, and I love that. I do. Yeah. They're, 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 they're so protective. They hard headed is all day. Yes. But I wouldn't trade them for nothing in the world. Mm-hmm. That's good. I have one more question, cousin. You. Um, if you could have one dream come true, what would that be? I would say meeting my happily ever after, mm-hmm. my next best friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what I would say. Okay. I have a lot of dreams, but that one, because I've been through so many nightmares mm-hmm. and I just want, I, I desire Mm-hmm. That one I can talk with, be silly with, you know, just be me. Yes. And and that person just love me unconditionally. Yes. I'm about to say just that. because I am who I am, mm-hmm. not what I have, just because of me. Mm-hmm. That would be one of the dreams. Now the billionaire and all that, you know, that'd be down the road. <laughs> but that. <laughs> that <laughs> Well, cousin, yes. I love you and I appreciate you. I love you. I appreciate I think, you. Yeah. I, I can't wait till you write that book because I'm telling uh, you, it's going to be a bestseller. Yes. Thank you. And don't forget, we got to talk to the cousins about Hawaii. Uh, mm, we we're going to start with cousin. We're going to start with cousin Mickey first. Okay. We can do that. But well, she is stubborn, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll get it. <laughs> We will. We'll work on her. Yeah. But I love you and I love our chat. Ooh, yes, me too. <laughs> Is there anything else you could think of? Yes. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Is it really? Yes. I don't know. Why. I never knew that. Yeah, I love the color black. Um, that's my favorite color. Okay. I'm going to remember. I, mean, I have other colors that I like. But my favorite color. But that's your ultimate favorite black. Okay. That's a no. That's a no. 
What's your favorite color? Is it orange? Yes, it is, honey. You already <laughs> know, girl. <laughs> Yeah, I love my orange because it's just so fun and bright and it just makes me happy. See, I think black is sexy. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. It can be it, it can speak power. Mm -hmm. It speaks so many things to me, but it is sexy, honey. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, cousin, I have enjoyed you. I enjoyed you as well. Yes. We gotta and do this I, again. I was about to say that. I look forward to doing this again sometime. Yes, absolutely. But I love you. And I will definitely see you soon. Yeah. You have so a wonderful you. evening. You too. I will. Okay. Bye, sweetheart. Bye, cousin.